Alright, look at all these computers. I have more computers than I know what to do with. And I keep them all hooked together with um, that switch down there, and I got another switch up here, and I got other switches everywhere. There's, there's more computers in here than this. But anyway, I keep them together, hooked together with cables, you know, because Wi Fi is not as fast as cables. So, but look, I just broke off one of these little clippy doodads right there on my cable. See that, the little snap thing? The cable still works, but it won't stay in. It just pulls, it'll just pull right out. So let's swap this thing out, right? We'll change it. All right, so what we're gonna need to change it is a little kit. Now you can spend a lot of money on these. I got this little one on Amazon for under 20 bucks, right? Because I don't do it very much, so I'm not a professional. And this kit has everything you need. So here's my uh, crimpers. So this actually has, this has cutters right here, and then here's the crimpers. This is for a four, that's for a six, this is for eight, which we use for network cables, right? That's the actual crimping part, and this is where it goes in like that, okay? So that comes, comes in the kit, worked pretty good. Let's see, we get a little, a bag of ends, okay? We need, need those. Actually, there's one right there, we use that. And I also got this little tester. So once you get the uh, get your cable together, we can just uh, hook it up to this tester. Here's the eight inch in there for the RJ. Uh, what are they? RJ forty fives. Okay. So put those in there. Turn it on. It runs a little test pattern. If the test patterns match, then it's good to go. All right. So that's a handy handy tool because as you'll see it's easy to uh, it's easy to make a mistake. You also get this wire stripper okay which is not good okay and the reason is these things are really made for I think for coax cable so you put the wire in there and what you're trying to do is just cut the outer sheath of this thing well this cuts way too deep it cuts into the wires which you don't want um, so let me get a close-up of this. All right, here's my solution. You see that right there? It's a piece of paper clip. I just put it, I bent it around there, and it made it work and just barely cut. And that just barely cuts through the outer sheath and it doesn't damage anything else. Okay, so just get yourself a little paper clip or something like that, and then these things work fine. Okay, this is the one that is broken. The clip's broken off right there. Okay, so let's look at this. Here's the things to note. We'll look at the color wires, or wire colors in just a minute. But the way these things work is when you crimp them, it's going to crimp those metal things, just push them right down into the wires. Okay, that's, that's what we're after. It's also going to crimp... Get it also going to crimp this down onto the insulation. See how that is poking down in the insulation, holding the insulation? That's kind of a mechanical strength that adds to it. So it's going to push down in there and clip that thing down. And then it's going to push each one of those down and push them down into the wires and make your connection. All right. Now, looking at the top side, which is the side that we'll be working with. If we go, let me hold it up like this. Okay, so we go left to right. We the colors are either going to be striped. So you see how that first one is an orange striped. It'll be striped or solid. So the pattern is uh, the normal pattern for for connecting between computers and whatnot is um, orange stripe orange, green stripe, blue, blue stripe, green, uh, brown stri stripe, brown. Okay. Now the main thing is that they match from one end to the other 
and that the tester works but that's the pattern I'm having trouble holding this thing up close but that's the pattern that we're after okay okay so we're just going to get rid of this old one bang just like that cut it right off and then I'm going to take the modified now this is the modified one and we only need about that much you know about that much stripped off but I'm going to go ahead and strip off more and you'll see why it's just going to make it way easier so you just clip that baby on there and you spin it and then all of a sudden you'll feel I just felt it it came loose okay so there we go we'll put that aside because I'm about to use it again so here's our wires okay we've got our orange and white our orange and white striped orange we got our green and white striped green we got our brown white striped brown those those go down there and then we got our blue and white striped blue okay now first thing we want to do and the reason that I got so much wire is that I'm gonna kind of like when you curl ribbon I'm gonna pull this across the end and I'm gonna take all those squiggly bends out of there just pulling it over the corner like you're curling ribbon that's why it's kind of making that curl on there Okay. very good all right now we've got some pretty good we're going to cut this off so got some pretty good things so now what we got to do is get it in order so we're going to start with that's our solid orange Th these particular wires are kind of hard to see okay but we're going to start with that so we got white stripe orange and then we got orange now we're looking for uh, green I can't, okay there's our there's our green stripe so white stripe orange okay there's our green stripe then we want solid blue then we want stripe blue then we want plain green then we want brown and white stripe which is that and then brown okay so I'm gonna get them and twist them back and forth get all those wires laying parallel neat and nice okay so now I'm gonna check it again white stripe or white striped orange solid orange white striped green solid blue white striped blue solid green white striped brown and brown so that is correct now we'll cut it off at about a half inch okay everything straight and gonna just chop these babies off all right so okay there's my wires just the way that I want them Let me turn it around this way so we're doing left to right so we got white striped orange orange green stripe uh, solid blue blue stripe green brown stripe brown okay now I'm gonna get this now sometimes these wires the insulation is so thick on them they won't work with these but I know that these do so I'm just gonna slide them in let's see if we can do a close-up on this all right here we go I'm trying to do a close-up where you can see it 
just holding everything in place getting it up there and then I'm just going to twist twist back and forth and then what you're looking for on the end here you want to see that, that wire goes all the way to the front let me get that you see that brown wire is all the way to the front over here the orange wire all the way to the front okay alright now I'm gonna check one more time orange stripe orange green stripe blue blue stripe green brown stripe okay that's right okay now watch this I'm gonna kind of push on this and get that insulation up there okay insulations up there yep all right and all I'm gonna do put it in this way now do you see that not that thing right there is the part that's going to go up in there and push that mechanical link down and then these things on the back that's what's going to push those down okay so I want to put it in I fooled around with this a little bit but I've figured out that I want to stick it in just far enough to where that will go in that slot okay so let me let me see if I can do it where you can see it okay alright so see that just going into that slot and then over here you can see that it's going to crimp it right there okay and then I just squeeze down that click was that mechanical lock going in okay I just squeeze these things together and it's done okay so if we look on the side we see that mechanical locks been pushed in and we can see that the crimps or the brass pieces have gone down into there okay so that that's all done the only thing we got to do now is run it on the tester all right here's the tester it, it's got setups for a lot of different ends but we want those RJ45s which are there so I, this is my good end so I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in the master here and then this is the new end I'm gonna put it in this one right here okay all right and then I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna watch the pattern and I want the pattern to go together that's all I want okay and that's correct let me turn it on faster got two speeds here now what would happen is if I if I'd done it wrong these would blink in order and then these would start coming down and they would jump up you know like two wires were out of order or something like that okay so there's the tester it's testing out good so our cable's good We're ready to uh, to plug it up so there you go save you in a pinch you don't have to run out and buy a new cable or order or anything like that and then I just um, put it back in the kit and maybe about two or three times a year I order this so this one I mean I fix a cable I only do it a couple of times a year you can still get these on on Amazon they're only about uh, $18 maybe something like that pretty inexpensive so there you go actually you know what I will put an Amazon link in the description of, of this one right here that I that I purchased you can just click on that and uh, and do it all right there you go